So I like Play Night, but it was missing audio. So I'm creating a little extension. I'm not sure if I did it okay, but it seems to work already a bit. I also recorded my voice, so the, the voice you hear is not what I'm saying. To play night. And when the library is updated, it will also play a WAV file, basically on every event. So, I'm waiting for the library to update. Library updated. Or when selecting a game, playing a game, let me check if I can find one. Launching game. Those audio files are... Those audio files are... Um, Mockups, so people can change them. Game was stopped. Um, I also have one for install and install. Let me check which game. No, oh, don't think that works. But I can try. No. Uh, which one was it? it was the Steam one uh, here? Game uninstall. Um, it also works. I have uh, separate audio files for full screen and um, desktop mode, but I duplicated them. So if I if I play, if I run the full screen mode, it will also play the audio files. But in theory, you can change the. You can have different audio files for the desktop mode or for the full screen mode. If you if you don't like uh, if you don't want a certain song to be played for a certain event, you just delete a file and uh, it won't play it. Uh, it's still not finished. I still have to work a bit on it, but I like it already. But I'm not good in creating sound files. That's why I use my voice. Let me exit. So yeah, it's a very simple plugin. I use the system between Windows Media Player uh, object. Initially, I was using the system pin sound player, but then it uh, couldn't play multiple audio files uh, at the same time. So I make multiple instances, each for one for each WAV file, and then I only play the file hard coded. That's all on every event. So yeah, that was it.